Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a bit of back background mu music, but anyways, we got the girl and the dinosaur tree today. I know this is a bit different, but I thought we'd mix it up. So we're gonna be reading the girl and the dinosaur, and I saw the front cover of this, and I instantly fell in love. It looks so interesting and beautiful, so I had to um, get it. So here's the picture. Now we're gonna start reading it. So start reading. The girl and the dinosaur. Girl and the dinosaur. Haley Hugin, Hugis. I'm sorry if I'm not saying it right. They were Huggy, Huggy, Huggas. It's kind of hard for me to say. It, illustrated by Sarah M M M Massimini. Okay, let's start reading. There's a town be. There's a town behind the sea. Not so very far from here, with golden sands and rock pools, and a and a tarted, bat, batted, battered pyre. And there's a girl upon the beach. Her name is Marianne. She's she's digging for a dinosaur just beneath the sand. And and this is the salmon behind her. And here's Marianne. You can see that we're also a dinosaur too. So let's we'll keep reading. Now the fish and now the fish now the fish folk folk all worry for the girl beside the sea she needs to find some friends they say and let those old bones be still Marianne is patient and Marianne is clever and stony bone bone by stony bone Guys, I'm getting excited. Okay, let's see. So, this is Marianne taking with her stony bones. And this is a fish bowl. Talking about how worried they are for her. Fish bowls are very nice. I've read this story a couple times. It is a very good one. A beastie comes together. I think I'll name you Bony, whispered little Marianne. And now that we are friends, I'll be the best one that I can. <gasps> it's not a complete dinosaur, but look at that. It has all the fossils of a dinosaur. Is it gonna come to life? Let's see. But the, but the sleepy sun is setting, and Marianne must go, go. Sleep tight, she says to Bodhi. I'll be back before you know. And this is her in a little bedroom. There's her digging tools, and there's her sleeping in her bed thinking about bony, and it looks like she's saying something. With all my heart, I make a wish and a dream. It, it will come true for stony bones to come to life and find me when, when they do. Uh-oh, I think, I think something's gonna happen. Let's see. The wishing star stars burn bright. That that night, 
the air. The air is thick with dreams. And a deeply sleeping dinosaur is waking up, it seems. <gasps> Marianne's wish came true. That's good for her. She wants to keep looking. Let's keep looking, let's see. Then a tap, tap at the window. And Marianne's awake. Her wishes have have come true, and there are memories to make. A bendy neck is offered for a girl to slide right down. And magic is now promised in the sleepy star starlight town. Starlit town. Here's her having fun with her dinosaur friend. Let's do some windows. Windows with all the kids' dreams going through and coming true. So, let's keep looking. This is an exciting story. Okay, let's keep looking. Happily together, the friends go to the sea. To Bob with to Bob bo with boats and fishes, their spirits wild and free. They're so cute. I think they're best friends, don't you think? Okay, let's keep looking. Then on two new adventures up a winding path of trees and they're flashing through a forest like leaves upon the breeze. Fairies float beside on, on their way to, to who knows what, past unicorns and, and giants and creatures long for, for God. Now I think this is a beautiful story. Up they climb still higher, hearts beating boom, boom, fast, till they reach a mountain summit. And stop for for a breathe at, at stop for a breathe at last. Stop for a breath at last. And as the clouds all part, they they spy on land up in the sky, a magical moon moonlight island where night and and daydreams fly. This is a beautiful story. With a mighty leap of faith, our brave dinosaur takes takes flight, and the and the pair are soaring through the dreamscape, the dreamscape of the night, swooping, gliding, flying. To the land up in the air. Look at this. This is so beautiful. I just can't believe it. I love this story. It's cute. Dang. And oh, what fun and magic awaits. The two friends there. A party place for children, the creatures from their dreams, where anything is possible and nothing as it seems. Oh, yeah. What about the picture? Can't forget the picture. So many children and monsters with fun. That's so exciting. Okay.
the slum, but the slumbers pull it. But the slumbers pull a bo- bo- bokening. The children back back to town. It's time to leave the island and begin the, the journey down. I'm having a bit of trouble reading that. I'm not even sure if it's a real word. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Bucketing is a word I was kind of curious about. Back to the Back to the town beside the sea and back to empty beds and black and back to secret memories to keep from grown up heads. And and when Marianne snuggles down and pulls her covers tight the the slip it slips into a dream filled sleep of magic in the night. So Oh, oh, he forgot about this photo. Look at that, it's beautiful. Can make a video. Can make a video. So, let's see what's next. So there, so there's a town beside the sea, not very far from here, with golden sands and rock pools and and tarted battered pyre and there are children on the beach with with little Marianne each digging for their dinosaur just beneath the sand the fisher folk are happy now and everything is well And as for magic in the night, the children will not tell. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. I love this story because because you can have beautiful memories from the story. And and after this, once you're done with the video, I, I want after the video, I want I want you to draw a picture of your di- dinosaur if you ever have one. So draw any dinosaur; it can be any type. And and yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope you like the story.